me, your host, Super Sorrel. Thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I got. It's a big bag of stuff. Tesco is the last place you would have thought that you'd find this cool stuff, but apparently my Tesco's is good. <laughs> well, it's not my Tesco's. I went to the big Tesco at York, and they have a really big toy section. So I really picked up some stuff, and I went a bit overboard. But everything was on sale. Everything in this bag was on sale. That is just insane. But, first things first, I had an Amazon delivery today. I've just bobbed that in the bag for the video. But, um, yeah, we had an Amazon delivery today. So, let's break this open. So, is it? Yeah, it's what I thought it was going to be. It's finally out. This is DC Universe movie Batman's Gotham by Gaslight. It's the bat against the butcher. Gotham City, as the turn, at the turn of the century, is experiencing a golden era of discovery and industry. As showcased by influent businessman Bruce Wayne's World Fair. Down in the darkest alleys, however, there is a killer on the loose. Preying on the city's women, this killer is precise as he is cruel. A police commissioner, James Gordon, tries to calm the fears of Gotham citizens over the butcher named Jack the Ripper. Batman does some detective work of his own with the help of the sultry and so sure-footed Selina Kyle. Witness a world in flames as the killer's controlled savagery meets the calculated stealth of the Dark Knight. Ooh, this also contains a sneak peek at DC Universe's next animated movie, Suicide Squad, Hell to Pay. So I'll be looking at that. Well, yeah, Batman's Gotham by Gaslight. Can't wait to give that a watch tonight. Awesome. Been dying for that to come out. The, the uh, graphic novel was amazing. So let's hope they've done well with the movie. Oh, my bin's full. No, we're time to have a full bin. So, let's get on with the haul. So, at Tesco's, everything, like I said, in this bag was on sale. So I couldn't resist picking these up. Where is the, uh, there's the other one. Uh, the first things I want to share with you. Uh, first things I want to share with you. We got the FNAF sister location. We've got two more of the mystery boxes. These were marked down in my local Tesco to just three ninety nine. Couldn't resist grabbing them. So three ninety nine. That's really good for a mystery mini. Normally these things run at about a five to six, maybe a seven pounds depending where you go. So hopefully we'll have something really awesome. Um, I'll open these at the end of the video. I would really like, obviously, the Pumpkin Chica, but I doubt we're going to get that. But I would settle for Golden Freddy, Cupcake, and oh maybe Ballora. I'd like a Ballora. Just because I've now I've met the voice of Ballora, as you know, from Horicon, so that would be awesome little keepsake. So yeah, I'll open those at the end of this video, guys. There's only two, so there's no point doing a video based on them. So I'll open those at the end of this uh, end of this video. So guys, I finally got around to picking up the third in the installment of the DC Batman collection. This is by I forgot the name. Oh, Eagle Moss. This is by Eagle Moss, and this is number three in the series. Born to Kill. I'm just I'm just dawned on me then I didn't pick that up the other day, did I? Please don't tell me I picked that up the other day. What's that one? Oh no, there's zero years. Whew! Whew! Yeah, I didn't pick these up the other day. Thank the Lord. I thought that I picked these up for. I thought I picked these up already, but I haven't. This is by Eagle Moss, um, and they're going to be in a couple of days, I think. It's not long now, because this has been out quite a while. We're going to be getting Volume 4, which is The Faces of Death. And then Volume 5 is The Dark Knight Returns. I don't need number 5 because I already own The Dark Knight Returns. Got these cards. Ugh, there we go. Let's get this open. Yeah. Opening, opening. I can put all the rubbish back in this bag and throw it. So there is the Born to Kill, the Legend of Batman, Volume 3 in the collection. Also, this is where he gets his um, Damien Wayne, he's an assassin. Uh, 
The legend continues. So issue four is due out on the 7th of February, so within a couple of days. And then the 21st of February we get issue five. So issue four is the Faces of Death, which I do want. Issue five is the Dark Knight Returns. If you do subscribe, though, there is a bunch of stuff. You can get a premium subscription. You can get the Bruce Wayne Fugitive which collection as well. Meh. I'm, I'm not bothered about subscribing. I'm just going to pick up the ones that... Obviously, as long as they keep coming to stars, you know, I'll keep picking them up. Let's keep digging in the bag. So the first of the action figures, Bray Wyatt in the mutant form. Couldn't resist picking these up, finally. They didn't have the John Cena in my store, though. I wanted the big... Tin Man looking John Cena, but they didn't have him. I think it was like a Frankenstein one, but this this looked cool because he's like an alligator. So I like the mutants, the mutants are fun. I also picked up in the same series. Slightly open. That was pulled open on the way home. Mutants Finn Balor. You can't beat Finn Balor, he's amazing. And that's a really cool, obviously, demon keepsake. Keep it with the same vibe again, guys. I didn't get all of them, I just got my favourite three. Like I said, they didn't have John Cena, I really wanted John Cena. Wasn't bothered for Brock Lesnar or Stardust. So that leaves Sting. He's like a, he's a scorpion, which is awesome, because obviously the scorpion, Deathlock was one of his moves. So... I had to get that. Yeah. If you want to see a review of those on the channel, guys, please let me know in the comments if you're interested in seeing the WWE Mutants get a review. Next up, guys, this is really super awesome. I can't believe I finally got it, guys. You know what I've been hunting high and low for? It's Shuri! Somebody hid this, by the way. I had to search all the way to the back, and then there was, like, a bunch of stuff put in front to make it look like there were no more pushed them to one side and she was there so it was like yes somebody was hoping to come back and pick that up later but um awesome was hiding it for a friend but i got there first and found shuri she's the sister of t'challa shuri um designs and wears vibranium powered combat gear awesome can't wait for the movie it's only a few weeks away now i'm super excited and i've got this to review as well now shuri <laughs> really excited that we got shuri guys and then the final item today, Cars 3 on Blu-ray. I can't ever go shopping and not pick up a Blu-ray. Super Sorrel Jr. is going to really like watching that with me. That's a film we can watch together. I didn't go to the cinema to see it. We were too busy with the baby when that came out. I think it came out not long after she was born, so we didn't end up going to the cinema. But yeah, Cars 3, haven't seen it yet. Need to watch it. I've avoided spoilers at this point. So let me just quickly find some spots to shove these in. Let me put her there, because I'll be reviewing her in the next coming days. Let's try and find some space. No! Yeah, these can go down here. Time for that, by the boy. Mm -mm. If anyone knows who that oh that YouTuber is that I'm doing an impression of, <laughs> take a stab in the comments below. <laughs> He's a fellow toy reviewer. I'll give you that much. <laughs> right. So sister location. <laughs> Let's give these a little whirl. Let's see what we got. Cover these first. Makes them easier. Whoop. 
I'm still a big fan of Five Nights, and obviously there's going to be the Five Nights movie as well. I'm not sure how, how that's coming along, but they are doing a Five Nights movie. Here's box number one. So like I said, we are really hunting for maybe a Ballora. The Pumpkin Chico would be nice. Okay. I think this may be a Freddy. I'm guessing Freddy. It felt like it had a top hat. Oh yes, Super Sorrel is spot on. Freddy. <laughs> okay, number two. Blood wishes come true on number two. This feels like. I don't know what that feels like. Oh, it's a Foxy. I think I have this one. Yeah, I already have this one. Ah, oh, I got a duplicate. No! That means that the Foxy will be going on eBay, guys. So if anyone still needs Foxy from that collection, let me know. In its original baggie. I'll use that box, that one's less ripped. In the original box. So guys, if anyone wants to buy that from me, check out my eBay. You can find the link in the description below. And you can pick that up for cost. Plus postage. But we did get a nice pretty. Okay guys, so other than the duplicate, what did you, all? Did you enjoy everything that, that we picked up today? What are your thoughts on it? Please let me know in the comments down below. Did you enjoy the vlog at the beginning? Let us know. Thank you very much for watching, guys. As always, I'm your host, Super Sorrel, and I'll speak to you again soon. May the force be with you. Bye!